News Channel 5 is always investigating and just uncovered new video that shows the moment a Cleveland exterminator may have made people sick with toxic dust. It happened during a bed bug treatment gone wrong. And now we've learned there is a congressional investigation underway. Derek Waller is tracking the latest. They use a product prohibited for indoor use. Surveillance video just obtained shows an exterminator dousing this downtown Cleveland Social Security office with pesticide. It's called Talstar, a chemical meant to treat bed bugs, but the product's own label says it's meant for use in cracks and crevices. But here he is dousing the carpet and chairs. And those contaminated chairs have since been donated to a Catholic charity. That happened February 18th, and on the 19th, several employees quickly went home sick. How quickly was it clear that people were getting sick? It was immediate. I heard people complain of headaches, people were coughing. The office closed for the day, but not before was open to the public for more than a half an hour. They had to breathe the same fumes that had already sickened the employees. The Ohio Department of Agriculture investigated, but their report from April was only made public in the last couple of weeks. It shows that exterminator from Cleveland's Central Exterminating Company also mistakenly used a toxic dust meant for treating bees outside, inside the office. They need to answer why, in fact, was that in February and now it's September and this is just coming to light this way. Today, Senator Sherrod Brown told me he's now investigating, firing off this letter to the General Services Administration. I want to know more about what happened, who took responsibility, how much exposure individuals had. You just really want people who had been in this office to know. Correct. They have a right to know. I would have a right to know if I had visited this office and became ill and didn't know why. I'm Derek Waller, News Channel 5. The Social Security Administration sent a statement saying they are working on their employees' workers' comp claims and consulting with health and safety experts to determine the next steps.